Hello, this is Dr. Robert Rutledge, and I'm going to be narrating a edited version of a mini gastric bypass. Um, the edited version you'll see here is about six to seven minutes. Um, this surgery was done in November of 2008, and the operative time was about 31 minutes. Uh, we've begun here by identifying the stomach, and we're going to create a new stomach pouch out of the old stomach. And we use the staple gun here and uh, if you'll notice as we go along um, you see very little bleeding. Um, usually about a teaspoon to a tablespoon of blood loss. On the left hand side of the screen you can see that new stomach being created by the staple gun. It's about as big as a big magic marker and uh, here you're going to see us pass a plastic tube down through the patient's uh, at mouth into his throat and then into the inside edge of the stomach to help us create the new tube to make it narrow but not too narrow. Again you can see a nice picture. That's the stomach. On the left hand side is the liver. Up on the top the white fibers of the diaphragm and the heart's above that. And on the right of the screen you can't quite see it. A little bit of the spleen tip is over there. Okay now we're going to Go ahead and fire the staple gun again, creating a little bit more of a step on that pouch. One step further to getting it completely divided. Now the whole stomach on the left has been completely divided from the stomach on the right. Now we have a long, narrow stomach with, right now, kind of a dead end. So we need to fix that by finding the small intestine. This is the beginning of the small intestine. It's also called, the medical name is the ligament of trites. And so pick that up. That's the beginning. That's where the small intestine starts, right there. We use our blue fabric paddle retractor, like a spatula there, to push tissue out of the way. And now we'll use a grasper with both hands, and we'll walk hand over hand downstream uh, between 6 and uh, 10 feet downstream. And here we are walking down. We're getting to about the end. It's about 6 or 7 feet downstream. And now we'll grab a hold of that and leave it there for a second while we make the connection. Right now we're about uh, 15 minutes into the operation, about halfway done. Okay, now we'll find the tip of that uh, stomach, the dead end we left behind. Kind of change our grasp here on the intestine. Okay, now I'll take the, got a good grip there, I'll take the paddle retractor out. And there's the tip of the stomach pouch underneath the liver. We'll kind of tease that out a little bit. And we'll use our harmonic scalpel, that's a, a cutting tool that cuts and seals the blood vessels at the same time. And we'll make a hole in the bottom of the stomach to allow a new outlet for food, bypassing the upper stomach, the pancreas, the duodenum, the gallbladder, and all those portions of the digestive tract which are so valuable in digesting fat and in our cases we want to decrease interfere with that a bit. So now we've opened the stomach pouch a little bit. We'll turn our attention down to the intestine and we'll again use that what's called harmonic scalpel to open that area a bit. And we'll fire that and open that. Good. Now we take our staple gun that we were using just a minute ago, and this time instead of firing it from the outside, we're actually going to put the anvil and the staple cartridges into the bowel and the stomach pouch. And so then when we fire the staple gun this time, instead of separating the stomach, it's going to hook the stomach back to the intestine. So watch that. It's kind of interesting. So there's our stomach pouch at the left-hand part of the screen right there. And we'll lift up on that, put the staple gun in, and fire that. And again, almost no bleeding. Don't see any blood around. Okay, that's now we've connected that. Now we'll put a tube across that connection, and we'll sew it up. So there's the loop of bowel. And we're sewing that up, that defect left by the staple gun. And a couple more stitches in here to kind of sew that up. We got kind of our beginning first layer closed. 
and we'll run that again a little bit more. And that's that loop on the right is the bottom. That's the bowel. And uh, up under the liver, coming down to it, like an upside down T, is the stomach. That's what we're connecting here. So we're doing a little more sewing here. And we'll sew across here. Then we flip the whole thing over and we sew the back wall again, reinforcing that with a running suture as well. And around to the front and tie that. And the surgery's done. 31 minutes later, and uh, that's a mini gastric bypass.